Tuberculosis has gone by many names. Consumption, the White Plague, the Poet Killer. Today, it infects billions worldwide. One by one, our treatments have stopped working. Some strains of drug-resistant TB will survive every medicine we know. These dangerous variants can only be treated by cutting out the infected lung. Drug-resistant strains are not yet widespread in the United States, thanks to our vigilant surveillance. The Arizona State Laboratory is the primary testing facility for drug-resistant tuberculosis in our state. When a medical provider sends a sputum sample from a patient who may have tuberculosis, it is handled at the highest containment procedures in the lab. Biosafety Level 3 Rigid adherence to protocol keeps our scientists safe from exposure to this virulent contagion, as do the extraordinary fail-safes built into the very bones of the laboratory. Negative airflow keeps unfiltered air from escaping the room. In fact, the air in Biosafety Level 3 is completely replaced every 60 seconds. Even outside high containment zones, a single-pass HVAC system replaces every molecule of air in the entire facility once every 12 minutes. HEPA filters clean the air coming into the laboratory, as well as the filtered air that is exhausted in a plume at least 500 feet high. Electrical feeds from two grids power the lab. If both fail, a 750 kilowatt diesel generator kicks on. All three power supplies have never failed at once, but if they did, this room would automatically shut the air supply valve to keep negative pressure for as long as it takes for Bailey to exit safely and seal the room behind her. Today, Bailey will perform three tests on these samples. A smear slide, heat fix to kill any living organism, will stain the rod with a fluorescent dye. Another test swirls the sample into a tube filled with a special broth. If tuberculosis is there, it will eventually declare itself with an eerie glow as it digests the oxygen in the tube. A sample that tests positive will be placed in each section of an unusual four-quadrant plate. These plates are made in the media prep room, just downstairs, to insulate the tuberculosis program from supply chain disruptions. If the organism grows, it is resistant to the drug in that quadrant. This gives medical providers the information they need to treat the illness and to prevent the spread of these dangerous strains. The evolving risk of tuberculosis and other drug-resistant illnesses speak to work that Bailey and her colleagues undertake every day to protect Arizonans from threats old and new. Next generation techniques like genomic sequencing, cord blood therapies, and bioinformatics hold new promise, but ask for new solutions for privacy, data storage, and computer processing power. No matter what the future holds, one thing is sure. At the Arizona State Lab, the questions of tomorrow, like the questions of today, will be answered with human endeavor, technological innovation, and a spirit of service to all of the people in Arizona.